My name's Alan, on behalf of Wistancia, my co-host and the crew and the staff of KCTV, I'd like to welcome you to another show of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Uh, we have another really beautiful and wonderful show tonight. Uh, we have Ali Mina, who's a visionary artist and a beautiful person, and her paintings are, and her cards are magnificent. I've seen uh, quite a few of them just uh, today, and they're really wonderful, and I, you know, I hope you get a chance to see a lot of them too. We have you know, that set out for, for that to happen, so we hope it, it works out that way. And we have a beautiful singer, Abigail, who's going to sing two or three or four songs, we're not sure. And uh, her voice is magnificent. I was at a wedding this week where uh, she sang, and it was really, it was really quite an experience. So uh, we have a, a packed show again, and uh, a lot of wonderful things are supposed to be happening. So we'd like to start it off with, as we usually do, with Wistancia uh, doing uh, an invocation and then leading us in a uh, short uh, meditation. So Wistancia. Thank you. And so we call forth tonight to the light and to the love of all the higher realms. And we ask for a blessing this night from Father, Mother, God to bless us with the rain, the rainbow rain of beautiful creativity and love and blessings and all the higher perceptions to come forth so that our gifts that we have had before can come forth unto us again. We ask that our inner eyes be opened to the colors and the music and that the music of the spheres that plays within us be played so that we can now hear it, so that we walk upon this earth and we listen to the music that is playing, the divine music within us, so that we can come to know ourselves as divine beings living on this earth. And we ask for the angels of creativity this night to be with us and we ask that they shower us with perceptions and love to help us to gain and gather together the colors and the visions of all that has been shown to us in our sleep time, in our dream time, and on the inner realms so that we can truly awaken. Let tonight be an invocation to awakening on all levels of our being. And so maybe you can just join with me, take a breath and breathe in light and relax and just go inside into that sanctuary into your heart enter into the silence with me together as we call forth our higher gifts the gifts of the Holy Spirit to come flooding us Thank you. And tonight it is my real pleasure to have Abigail singing and to have Allie showing her art. I'd like to dedicate this night to the arts and to the angels of, the, of creativity. For all of us have incredible creativity within us and we can open up to that as surely as we want to and desire it and ask and we can ask for help to open up to our gifts because we are artists, we are creating our reality. And we're going to have a little video, um, it's really a beautiful video to bring us all into the vibration of OM. And so maybe we can um, just sit back and relax and get ready, it's kind of a meditation, it's kind of a, um, a little clip, a video meditation. And it was sent to us from this man, his name is David, and it's, it's full of color and full of light and music, and it's about the sacred sound of the universe, which is the sound of Om, which is also the word Amen, and also just that sound when we get really, really silent and get really, really quiet within ourselves, that we can hear if we're in tune with Mother Earth, if we're in tune 
with the universe. And so, um, in a moment, we'll be queued up for this, for this clip. Meanwhile, I could tell you a little bit about Allie before she gets here. I mean, she's here in the studio before she sits up here with us. She started painting as a child. At 11, she was painting oil paintings. And then she just started um, from there, and she spends about five to 10 hours a day on most days painting. And her paintings are just splendorous. So if we're ready, are we ready? Okay, let's see this clip.
welcome back. And thank you, David. That was really beautiful. So we're sitting here with Allie, and it is so good that you're here, because I found her. I found her in Angel Times. I was flipping through this magazine, this new Angel magazine, and I saw these pictures, and I was going, oh my God, these are so beautiful. So I immediately wrote a little letter to the editor of Angel Times and said, would you put me in touch with Allie, you know? And then I got this letter back. I was so happy that you, that you wrote back to me and said that you would come on the show, and, and here you are. And maybe you could just talk a little bit, bit about how this whole thing evolved was from childhood and when you were painting. Well, yes, here I am, and I'd be delighted to do that. Um, and it's been a delight to be in Angel Times, too, because they do a beautiful job showing the angel art, and I've been very fortunate to be included. Um, I've been painting since I was 11 years old. I guess I was drawing since I was five or six. Um, I was probably born with a paintbrush in my hand, I don't know. But um, I've painted all my life. Uh, I was obsessed with painting, per se. And uh, many years ago, when I was um, maybe 19, I think, I went to Mexico and I fell in love with Mexico. And I, from that point, I painted Mexico. And I painted the people and the land and the uh, the, the people working in the fields and growing the corn, all the agrarian tasks that are so closely related to Mother Earth. I did this for many years, made, made my living painting uh, these scenes, and they were whimsical, and some described them as primitives, although my style has, has definitely graduated from primitive to uh, I'm considered now a uh, visionary. Yeah. I think I was always a visionary. Yeah. But uh, then later on, I went to Europe and um, was, was greatly impressed with so many things I saw there. So then I had to do my whimsical interpretation of Europe. You never had any formal um, training or anything? Or? I have trained with various uh, individuals from time to time. Um, but I've had no real formal training. I've only been... So it's evolved. It's, it's just, evolved. Yeah. My art is an evolutionary process. Right. And then in 1989, I was taking some um, various herbal concoctions and whatnot, and I had a tremendous <laughs> breakthrough. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I, I was able to give myself permission to leave the planet. Uh, and I, uh, the first piece that came through was the piece that's entitled The Crying Bird. And, um, what, when you say gave yourself permission to leave the planet, do you mean in your art? Do you yeah. mean in your in your in your head, in your visions? For me, I can't separate my art from any other facet of my life. I my art is me. I am the art. Um, mm. We are one. Um, so for me to have permission to leave the planet would be both in my art and in my feeling of. of Liberation. So all of it, did, you just had an expansive yes. feeling that just Total. boom and said that exactly. anything you see or experience exactly. you can paint. My people did not any longer right. have to be planted right. on the earth right. mm, due to gravity or anything like that. So uh, anything you could visualize, I could do you it. could paint. I could do it, but right. I, I had to give myself permission to do that. Uh -huh. And a lot of this too came from doing a lot of inner child work and... Mm -hmm. and um, this is uh, very, very freeing and, and liberating, and it definitely shows in, in my art. And now, uh, I don't have the need so much to paint, per se, as to express, uh, express the um, various facets of, of creativity uh, and our need to uh, look deeper within ourselves, uh, to look deeper at the needs of our planet. I started a line of greeting cards about a year and a half ago, and it's called Consciousness Cards, and um, specifically named that because I believe we... It has we something <laughs> to do with consciousness. We have, yes. so, we have um, some of them sitting on our table here. It's all about consciousness, <laughs> and as much as I need to express art, I don't want people to look at my paintings and say, oh, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't want just people that are on a spiritual path to be able to connect. Right. They're already on a path. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to touch people that aren't on a path. Right. People that are looking for something in their life but maybe haven't found it or can't connect. Uh -huh. And when they look at my paintings, I want them to be able to say, oh, 
I like that. I feel that. And it's, just, I, it's like it uplifts me. Yes, it gives me a sense of yes. something. I don't want it right. to be something that's so cryptic or so arcane that they can't relate right. to it. Because I'm not accomplishing anything that way. I'm turning people mm -hmm. away. So let me ask you something. Do you... So, like get the whole picture in your head or do you just get one part of it or I mean there's a commas like that's the picture good question good question uh, it depends sometimes I will have the entire image in my mind exactly as, as it turns out as it will turn out right other times I have just kind of a thumbnail outline sketch of the way I want it to look and I just have the impression of what I want, mm. and I will, it will evolve as I go along, and it's a surprise even to me. And then do, sometimes do you find you get it more in like in, in like a certain like walking in the woods or in meditation or yes, in yes, and and quite often on the beach. On the beach. Uh huh. And early in the morning, I'm on the beach almost every day, and I do mm. a workout, and it's it's kind of a working meditation, uh -huh. and a lot of my like a tai uh, chi kind of thing or something less very similar, very very similar, very similar but a little bit a little more physical. Uh huh. And, um, and sometimes my writings come through now. I write to go along with almost all my images because I, I feel this. It's something I have to express, but it also helps, helps my viewers to have a better understanding of what I'm saying. It gives them an aha. And uh -huh. they can say, ah. <laughs> I just did it. Yeah. So the poems, <laughs> the, the, uh -huh. the poems are have become actually as important as the images, or almost. And sometimes the writing or the poetry comes through to me even before the painting, even before the image. So I, I never know what's it's coming hard first. To say. You know, it's every hard. time I talk to you, you tell me that that you you just you can barely get them out when the, when new ones are coming. And I yeah. have this picture of you just sitting in your workshop, just like day and night, <laughs> like coming up with all these things. When yes. did the angels? start becoming important to you. Did you did you always feel an affinity with angels? No, I didn't always feel an affinity with angels per se, but I have always, for many years now, I have felt, uh, sensed, uh, accessed a feeling behind my shoulder. When I'm painting, I'll, <laughs> I'll feel someone come through and say, blue, Aww. pink, yeah. orange. And it's the darndest thing because that's what the painting really wants. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, mm -hmm. okay, and I just do it. And sometimes it's almost unconscious. That it, so, but I, I mean, you, feel you really feel like a vehicle. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No question about so you feel it. like absolutely. the angels are really working with you. Oh, yes. And, and it's oh, yes. co creative uh -huh. art. Oh, yes. yes. How wonderful. Yes. How wonderful. And my, my latest theme now, what, what I've worked into my cards and I will also be doing as a series of, of posters and limited editions is Angel of the, I have Angel of the Children, Angel of the Plains, Angel of the Seas, uh, Guardian Angel, Guardian Angel in Training, um, Angel of the Lovers, Angel, Angel of, of the, the Week, it sounds Angel like, of the sounds week. like a, a <laughs> CBS made-for-TV movie. Angel of the Rainforests, yeah, an angel for every occasion. Oh, I can uh -huh. see a book coming. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I definitely hope so for the, for the future. Actually, Wastansi has written a book, uh, Invocations, for a lot mm -hmm. of different occasions. Invocations so. to the Light, maybe you we know, can get together at some point. And, and Great idea. And talk, oh. about, and talk yeah. about it, because absolutely. your paintings just absolutely melt my heart. You oh, know? I mean, thank you. They, you know, I've seen some of these, I feel like I've seen some of these faces, you know, oh. I mean, on the inner, you know, and it's just, they're familiar, and they, they really open the heart. Well, I, that's what I, I, I truly want to do, and I feel more and more, uh, more strongly about this all the time. It's very important to me. Uh, it's, it's so important when I, I get a phone call from somebody that says, uh, somebody sent me one of your cards, and it, I just want you to know it means so much to me, and it touched me so deeply. Um, this is beautiful. one of the greatest rewards that I right. could I could ask for. Really How what is, what feeling do you have when like you're painting? Is it like a different kind of feeling than you have other times? I mean, is there like a oh yes, oh yes. yes. It's well, <laughs> you're you're like transformed when, like when I'm working on a piece right. that I truly love. Um, and not every piece I do, I'm having a total love affair with. Some of them are very frustrating, uh -huh. but the ones that flow smoothly are the well, ones. Well, you feel more uh, like a yes. vehicle. I yes. Just, yeah. Yes, and when I'm working on one that I'm truly enjoying, it's heavenly. I just oh, it's just heavenly. So it's a, a good word. It's wonderful. Yeah. But but when I'm having a struggle, mm -hmm. it can be very frustrating. In the beginning phase, when I'm first laying it in and right. getting you know doing the groundwork, um, 
That can be very frustrating because th at that point I'm not yet really seeing uh, the fruits of my labors. I'm not right. yet, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As, right. it, as I'm pulling it through and I'm seeing it being brought to fruition, to completion, and I'm seeing all these, these possibilities now coming, I, I get very excited. Louis, how, how, very, how does one make like the pictures, like I saw your pictures, into cards? Is that, what's the process of it's that? It's an offset litho process, oh, and it's offset just, lithography. And, and yes. you find it comes out really good and the pictures are oh, pretty? Yes. My husband Nowadays. does my photography. He, oh, uh -huh. he shoots oh. with a Hasselblad. We oh, do. with his a big, oh, yeah. big yeah. frame. Well, so he does. We do. We only do two and a quarter inch transparencies, and they're they're excellent. Excellent. Huh? And from those, I can do the cards. I can do posters. I can do basically anything, anything. that you yeah. would need for. Yeah. Ellie, do you ever have a painting that you just absolutely can't sell? Yes. <laughs> you just can't. Part I do. With it. Yes. Angel? Yes. Yes, every now and then. Yes. Did you bring absolutely. one of those to me? Um, <laughs> or do they the not even leave the house? No, I left it home. <laughs> I don't want to leave it. No. Um, oh, I just had a feeling about that. <laughs> well, there are a few. Yeah. Uh, a couple of them, but yeah. uh, for the most part, I do have to part with them when people want to buy them yeah. because that's what I do for my living. If I didn't sell them, I wouldn't be able to keep. And you them want to painting. also want to share them with people, yes. yeah. right? So it it's a beautiful experience. Sure. Yeah, people love them. Right. I just wondered if there was some big angel hanging in your in your bedroom or something that like oh, this one's not leaving. Well, <laughs> <laughs> how about there the first one you did after you know after you had the. You know the uh, the, uh, the breakthrough the and the authority. Let well, that go. was actually the crying bird. Oh, and, and you have that here. Um, I only have the uh, we have the card, oh. um, the original, and the, the card is over here on the table. This one here. Yeah. In yeah. fact, the original is at the um, a gallery that I'm in which I'm represented up in San Francisco. Wow. So it's. Um, and that was a hard piece to part with, but yeah. it definitely. Do you find more and more up. people? I mean, it seems like you know, like a lot of the guests on the show. I mean, that the uh, the amount of people interested in experiencing angels and things like that are just incredible. It's now. overwhelming. Yeah, yes, it is. It's over. overwhelming. Um, I'm doing um, uh, CD and tape covers now for various artists that record and do uh, healing guided meditations and. Uh, uh, and they've seen your work music. in the yes. Angel Times too, Through and the it just cards, calls, and the cards, the cards, and Angel Times, oh, and neat. a number, a number of other um, publications that have used my work on covers. Mm. People see it, and my my phone number or address is always included, right. and they get in touch with me, like Wisconsia did. The right. angels are really on and, parade uh, now. I, yeah. I, I got that little phrase, you know, a couple of years ago when I was putting a book together, and I was like, they said we're really coming out now, we're coming out uh -huh. on parade, well, and it's really true, and all the. And everything. And we it, need them. Yeah. We we have a great. We need all the help we can we get. We need all the help we can get, and I think they're very gracious to, to come and, and help us and to be with us. Oh, oh, so you. it's an opportunity that these cards and the paintings are presenting you to like be working with really a lot of wonderful people and getting involved in neat things. And these cards have given me the opportunity to meet some of the nicest and most wonderful people I've ever met in my life. Really? I have the greatest network of friends I've never met. Right. I just I know what you love mean. them. I yeah, have all these wonderful feel, voices on We feel the same way phone. about and then people come on the show. <laughs> then we finally so, meet them. Yeah, then we finally really get a chance to meet. meet them. It's so much fun. They've been, my cards have been the greatest networking tool that I, I think I've ever designed <laughs> and maybe this is why I did them I don't know right. um, it's been a good business the cards are selling very well and um, it, it opens the door for me to uh, produce the prints the larger prints and to expose my originals to a wider market and um, it also keeps me very busy. <laughs> There's not much time for anything and else. And just feeling really good because you're doing something yeah. that you just love to yes. do. Yes, I, I love doing it. I, I just love it. I love hearing from the people that contact me, um, mm. the shops, um, and it's just gotten so overwhelming. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's just overwhelming. Yeah, every time I've talked to you, i felt that you were really overwhelmed oh. and really working at your max yeah. oh, and gosh, yet yes. loving it and wouldn't change it for anything. No, I wouldn't no. change it. I do have a distributor in San Francisco, thank heaven, because she handles a, an awful lot of the shipping for mm. me. Uh -huh. um, I, we still do enough of it out of the house, but she does the bulk of it now. So we're all over the United States, uh, Australia, Canada, and we're breaking into France. Really? Yes. And, right. the, and there's a tremendous market, like all over the world, for angels yes. and angel things. Now. People are people want this to, to feel good. They, and they that, want right. to awaken. They're looking for for right. 
ways to open their hearts well, that's neat. and yeah. to access more love and more light right. uh, and the cards are helping so Good. I'm able to do a little well, bit. Well maybe what we can do now is uh, have a, uh, a song or two from Abigail. Absolutely. I'm so excited. So uh, she'll be getting set up and then we'll have uh, a couple of songs and uh, you know as soon as she's ready and as soon as we're ready here in the booth here it goes. In rapture time is given to each fellow guardian And each wind chime that's listened to is followed with a hum Gracefully each mystery mystically unfolds Thee while well showered by the vision of tomorrow And the queen and king sit side by side now And to their kingdom they stand side by side and bow And their children are so old And they're learning what in silence is known in a royal grace, a way to face a promised patient goal. Tis now retrieved in honesty, this peace will make them whole. Now given to them shining gold, a chalice made of choice. They drink to thirst in freedom's arms, acknowledging each voice. Look inside the glowing cup Reflections of them rising up there Drinking from the showers of tomorrow And the queen and king sit side by side now and to their kingdom they stand side by side and bow And their children are so old And they're learning what in silence is gold The Empress and the Emperor are greeted in their hearts they know this is the time to be embodied in this part. Taking off their velvet robes, they stand in nothing but two rows and step in to the vision of today.
Abigail, when I'm with you, I grow. And the last few days spending some time with you, you know, it, I'm amazed, you know? Like, you always make me cry when you sing, and it's always tears of joy. It's always a part of me that goes, unbelievable. It opens up a place, you know? And really, you've got a gift. And I'm so glad that you're here with us. The angels work with you, <laughs> that's for sure. 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, <laughs> I would like to see some of your babies, some of your paintings. Oh. And um, maybe uh, you're moved too, aren't oh, you? I've been aren't you? To this, this young lady sing all yeah. night. She sings what I feel yeah. about what I paint. I, She's like a liquid painting. Uh huh. <laughs> I feel like vibration. I'm melting here. Thank you. Oh. So, so pure, beautiful. It's beautiful. She's an angel. Yeah, I and she's it. ageless. You know, she's she's 18, and I feel when I'm with her, I feel like you know I'm with somebody absolutely ancient, and you know, a absolutely ageless. You know, it's loving. Just very yeah. loving. Yes. You brought along some of your, your original artwork, didn't you, tonight? Yes, yeah. I did. I have six of my originals here. Yeah, maybe we and can get um, those lined up so everybody these... can see them because they're really spectacular. Okay. And I think they're bigger so you can get a better yes. feel for yes, absolutely. You know, uh, and, um, the quality of the work and the, the beauty of it. So we're okay. going to be setting up now. We have a whole team working on it. Great. <laughs> we should, be, okay, well, should be getting set up. And, We'll look at those pieces and we'll go one at a time uh, through those and I'll briefly read about them. Uh, what Great. they, this is a piece that I did uh, a short while ago and it's called No Dream Too Great. And the card, inside the card, it simply says around the border, "'Tis not how big the dream, but how great the faith and determine the heart." And then the poem on the back of the card reads as follows. No dream too great, no star too high, no goal too big, shoot for the sky. Let no one tell you you can't have your dream. Let no one sell you on some lesser scheme. Hold faith in yourself and the universe too. When your heart is decided, no door is closed to you. No one can stop you or stand in your way. The angels will guide you on your path day by day. Remember who you are then, the birthright you possess. A beloved child of God, God you are. Never see yourself as less. Oh, beautiful. Good. Thank Everybody. you. Yeah. And uh, that's what that painting means. How, what is this, so this is a very recent painting of yours. No, I oh. actually I did that painting back in 92. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, for some reason I thought you said it was just recent. This one. But I guess that's, so no. here's the next one. This one that's that's coming up is my guardian angel piece. Mm. It's beautiful. Okay, yeah, okay. why don't you, yeah. why don't you read it? it? There we go with guardian angel. Um, this is a very special piece to me and the card that I did, um, it is a very healing card and it's a wonderful card to send to someone when they're in pain or like when there's a, a, a death, a passing of a loved one, and it goes as follows. You're never alone, just reach out your hand. I'm your guardian angel, and I'll understand. I'm here to help you when all else seems lost. I'm here to support you as on life sees you're tossed. I am your guardian, I hear your call. Not a thing you can't share with me, not too big or too small. I bless you with comfort, understanding, and hope. Yes, I know when you're tired and at the end of your rope. I know when your heart is breaking in two. This doesn't deter me. I'll still stand by you. For this is my job here. For this I was sent. I'll see you through till this life on earth spent. And I'll be thereafter as your travels progress. Still reaching out to you. I'll love you no less. You're my beloved. It's you that I bless. Mm, oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. Thank you. Actually, that's, you know, when I, I when I go to hospitals sometimes, you know, that, that one thing, I mean, I, everybody m m might think it's trite, but the one where it says, where are the two footsteps? Yeah. And that was the time I was carrying you. And I really I like that. that one. I, yeah. I, I can't yeah. focus on that without right. bringing a tear to Right, me that's too. I mean, powerful. and it's in every hospital. I mean, I guess everybody's... It's so powerful. Right, it's very it, it powerful. Truly it okay, truly is. Okay, we have the next one coming up. Okay. The colors in this one are just amazing. I hope we can pick them up good on the cameras, but uh, the colors are amazing in, in, uh, in the studio here. And what's the name of this one, This Allie? one is called Journey to the Center of the Heart. Okay. Okay, this piece, I, I was commissioned to do this piece by a gentleman in Hawaii as a, uh, a CD and, and cover, a cover for a CD and tape for a, uh -huh. a meditational healing uh, 
tape, and um, I'm also going to be producing this as a, as a poster. Journey to the Center of the Heart, and what I've written for this goes as follows. A place so gentle, such, such love imparts, we move now deeper in our hearts. The shadows lift, pain is erased, we're healed, we're in a state of grace. The wounded child no longer hurts, she's free to love, he knows his worth. We welcome you, beloved child, to enter here and rest a while. Then open to the healing light of radiant beings who transform the night. You're nurtured and loved here right from the start in the great sacred temple at the center of the heart. Oh, that's beautiful. I just wrote that so oh, a couple of days ago. I'm preparing. <laughs> in the green room here. You wrote it. <laughs> I have 11. This is one of 11 new pieces that oh, will really? be the next 11 cards uh -huh. that will be added to the consciousness card line. Okay, good. A number of which will also be done as as uh, posters. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, who do we have here? She's lovely. And she's a, she's a <laughs> brand new piece, too. And What's she the is, name of this one? Else? She is Angel of Divine Flow. Oh, wow. And she is brand new, will also be one of the new cards. And what I have written for her is simply this. Life is now, life is ever. Life abounds, ceasing never. Love is now, lives in our hearts. It never stops, it never starts. It always was, will always be. The divine flow in all we see. The value of life is life itself. The love in your heart is your true wealth. The miracle has occurred. You are. Celebrate. Oh. You always have animals. It seems like there's always an animal in your pictures. Oh, yes. Really always love animals, don't always you? dolphins and white birds and horses and swans. And That's yes. Wonderful. Yes, I do love oh, them. Oh, my. Ah, this golden yeah, this one, one coming yeah. up. Yeah, this one's really it's beautiful. Really. Now, you asked me with Stancy if I once in a while had a piece that maybe I didn't want to this part with. This might be it. Well, <laughs> this might just be this one of them. This might be. I can see that. This piece is so new that she's actually still just a tad wet. <laughs> That's oh. a brand new piece. And what's this one? What she is, is entitled name? Little Mother's Angel. Uh -huh. She's like looking through a portal. I feel like, you know, it's we've, like, okay. We've all heard about here. Mother's Little Angel. Well, this is Little Mother's Angel. Mm -hmm. Right and uh, she's holding our beloved Mother Earth in her hands. And what I've written for her is, our little cosmic homeland, our precious little planet, a one-of-a-kind jewel you are. Have we taken you for granted? Should we reassess our values, our goals, our priorities? Have we been good stewards, conserved your resources, protected your atmosphere, your seas? Oh dear, this is sad. Please don't answer. Sweet little angel takes you in her hands and to her heart. She sends doves of peace to heal you and prays mankind will start. Being mindful of your needs, our only little mother, and bear in mind, you're all we've got. There will not be another. And that's mother, little mother. Sure she's really angel. happy to see this one. <laughs> wow, this is a powerful one. Oh, there we go with the dolphins. Well, this is another uh, statement that I did on Mother Earth and our need to conserve, and this is called Angel of the Seas. And I hadn't, I will not read the poem because it's kind of lengthy, oh. but what it... Oh, it's beautiful though. Oh, look, thank look you. At her, look at them. <laughs> Should I read it? I don't know. Let's read a few lines. Times? Okay, we'll start. Read a couple of lines. It's angel of the seas, protector of the creatures. In light you come, they know you well. They all join in to greet you. They need to speak and share with you their heartfelt deep concern. They understand the urgency that invokes your return. They see their home so deep in blue, their sacred sanctuary is being used as a garbage dump and it's getting mighty scary. Beer cans float by, bottles, papers and such, tons of plastic and all kinds of junk. The oil, tank oil tankers think of the sea as a place to dump their bluey, gooey black gunk. Anyway, it goes on. I won't read any more, but it's... Uh, well, I know she forgives we, us. <laughs> we, want, we want the people to awaken to the needs of Mother Earth and our need to be better citizens, better stewards, and protect her. That's right. So do Take we, uh, care are those of all the big ones? Then we have one more little one we want to show? Is that, or do we have another I big one? I think that's all the paint, the originals oh, we have. Uh, and we have we want to show that one. Okay, let's show that one more, and then we'll have Abigail sing another song. Okay, which one is that? Now that's a that's a brand new piece called Beloved. I mm -hmm. just finished that and I can't read it to you because the, the poem is on the back. <laughs> oh, 
And with my eyes, I can't really see it that good. I need is, to see the big picture. This is one of my romantic <laughs> pieces. It's very beautiful. The, picture, the colors are beautiful, but I can't make out at all what it is. I, I hope people at home It's two can. lovers in the foreground, oh. and it's one of my romantic. Maybe that's why I'm I've done that three or area. four very romantic pieces. <laughs> uh -huh. well, but these are, these are just uh, uh, color copies done from, from photo blow-ups from 35 millimeter, right. of course, when we go to press. Oh, oh so this yeah. is, yeah, it would be we much clearer. The, oh, so maybe even I could see We it. use fine color, trans right. fine, fine quality right. transparencies for our, our offset litho process. This is just preliminary. I kind of threw together to have something to bring up here for the show so you could kind of get an oh, inkling yeah. of what hey. some of the new pieces no. will, will okay. look well, I'm like. I'm really happy you brought uh, up the big pieces. Oh, because, thank you. Yeah, they're really thank extraordinary. So An original is worth a thousand yeah, pictures. Really. <laughs> well, it's just so much bigger and for the yeah, cameras and for the setup here. So maybe we can just turn it over to Abigail for a while. Abby lives very oh, close yeah. to Mother Nature. She, I think she is Mother Nature. <laughs> You don't have to know it to understand the ways. Music is the handbook to guide you through the maze. So do not judge the cover, just read between the lines, and you'll get a feeling that easily defines the maze of ways. Through my life I've always known that I've always belonged to this person I'm well with. Yet that doesn't mean I can't frolic outside of this body my mind is sharing. This person is not
night to reach me when I'm far away. Simply leave a message, be clear with all you say, and I can return it with loving. Speechless. We've seen and heard so much tonight. It's been glorious. <laughs> I almost don't know what to say. <laughs> I just feel, wow, you know, we have music inside of us, and we have art inside of us, and we have incredible gifts inside of us. Every one of us. Every one of us has it, you know? It's like, maybe we, maybe we can't put it on paper like Allie can, and maybe we'll never be able to sing like Abigail, you know, in that way, but we really need to sing our song, you know? We need to draw our pictures. We need to just really open up to our gifts. They're in there, they're in there, you know? It's like, we're gonna start drawing, <laughs> you know? It's like. Because it brings so much happiness. I, I actually started drawing at one time and I actually took up painting and I was arrested for what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the way I was supposed to manifest. Actually, you know, it's interesting. You mentioned Your that. art is, are your jokes. No, no it was interesting. <laughs> I always wanted to play the guitar, you know, like Jerry, uh, Jerry Garcia died. And I actually thought of this again today. And every time I practice the guitar, I take lessons, I get nauseous. <laughs> I actually would get physically nauseous and it was like, this isn't for you. You know, I always thought, well, I'm going to be, you know, learn how to play s songs and stuff. I never could do it. So it's like. I'm with you. I right. never so could everybody, either. I guess, has got to find their niche. I mean, so you're very blessed that you found yours and Abigail found hers. And, you know, it really gives you that music. experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's really wonderful. Uh, so. But even just appreciating. Yeah, I mean. Appreciating just, is, is like a gift. You know, right. everybody appreciates, you know, and everybody her, else can, you know. Her songs see it. teach us. Uh, isn't it nice that we can learn from someone so young? Yeah. I think that people are never too young to be our teachers. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, spoken like a, from a beautiful <laughs> mother, too. <laughs> oh, if we don't learn from our children, it's a sad state of affairs. Yeah, there's yeah. so much. Yes. We've got a lot to learn. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Gibran says that if we, how does he put it, we're, if we're not learning from our children, if we expect them to learn from us, they're going backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're going backwards. They need to go forward. We need to go with them. Yeah. Well, I, I'd like to Abigail personally so thank you both, Abigail and uh, <laughs> Allie. Allie. All the A's. So, all the A's. All the A's. Allie. 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 And my brother told me specifically not to say exciting a thousand times, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, but we have a really exciting show next week. We have Mira L. What is with names? I'm having this thing with names. Uh, we have, an, you know, she's going to be on and do a, a lot of different things. And she's been doing angel things for just, just a very long time. So uh, please come next week.